So you clicked on this video because you have one of these or one of these or one of these right here. Now, over the last few years, the Fire TV has overtaken the market in smart TVs. These TVs are like any other, but they basically have a built-in Fire Stick saving you an initial cost. The unfortunate part is a lot of users like yourself probably have no idea how to get the most out of your Fire TV. So today we're going over the top 10 secrets for your Fire TV that you didn't even know about. Isn't that right, girl? So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and go ahead and follow us on Instagram for all of the puppy pictures. Let's get into trick number one. So I just wanna say all of these secrets should also work on your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, but there's not a lot of videos for the Fire TV in specific and that's why we're talking about it today. So let's start with secret number one and that is fixing your internet connection on your Fire TV. Now one of the biggest issues you get while you're streaming is buffering, buffering is terrible and everybody hates it. So the first thing I suggest is going to your settings and scrolling down till you find the network option. From here, you can check your internet connection. Now we wanna make sure all of these bars are fully highlighted in. For example, we see ones that only have one or two bars of highlight. That means they're very weak connections. Now this can happen when your router is in your basement or far away. Now, if that doesn't work, there are other ways to connect our internet, such as an ethernet connection, which is compatible on pretty much every device now, even your Fire Stick if you get the adapter. Now on your Fire TV, you can find it directly on the back of your TV. You can run an ethernet cable directly there, and that should help with a nice strong connection. So every time you stream, you get less and less buffering. Now, if you've owned any sort of Fire TV product, you know we get spammed with advertisements. Amazon has done a great job at selling their device at such a cheap price. However, they do load it up with ads and that means you have to deal with tons of different recommendations either for shopping or for TV and shows, typically on Prime. So if you head over to settings and scroll down until you find preferences, you can then go to your privacy settings. From here, you can turn off interest-based ads with just the click of a button. And you can also turn off and toggle your device usage data. This means it will no longer collect your data in terms of how much you're using per month. And you can also stop Amazon from tracking what you're doing on various third-party apps. So our third trick for today involves setting up your HDMIs to custom settings for each different one. Now we know when you're gaming, you might want a certain brightness or be able to change certain features compared to when you're streaming. And that's why you can completely customize your HDMI options. Simply go to the HDMI option and hold down this three line button. From here, you can scroll to picture settings and that's going to pull up this menu where we can completely control the different settings for each separate HDMI. This is for my PlayStation 5 and I can change the picture mode to game, to PC, to natural, to sport. We can also change up the HDMI input mode and the screen settings mode, and this will allow it to automatically switch to the HDMI when I turn it on. There's a variety of settings for you to play around in here, so you can customize each experience for each separate device you might have connected to your TV. So you wanna become a developer for your Fire TV, but you're like me and you practically have no fucking idea what you're doing. But with that being said, there is a way that we can install third-party apps, and that's what this next trick is going to show you. So if we head back over to our settings section and we scroll down until we find our device and software, we then click on About. We can then click on our TV right here, five to seven times until it says you have become a developer. Now this will pop up this new secret menu called developers option and this option called install unknown apps. Now we need to be able to check this off when we're using certain apps in order to access third-party apps. So if you're on the downloader app, this will have a downloader option and then you can use downloader to install third-party apps. So obviously a pretty needed trick. Now let's be honest, I know why most of you are here and it's not because I'm so good looking, unfortunately. It's because at number five, you wanna know how to get free TV shows and movies for your next movie night. Well, here's how. Now Amazon has added a brand new free to me section. If you're in the United States, this will show slightly different. They also have it up here on the scroll bar, which can be added. Now this is going to bring up tons of completely free content that's available on different apps for your Fire TV, and they are completely legal. Now I have a ton of videos on this already, but if you head to the app store, 
there's a few examples I can give you. For one, there's Tubi TV. Now this is a free legal streaming app that pays for all their content, but it's honestly pretty great and extremely underrated. Now this is one of many completely free apps that not only gives you shows and movies, but also gives you some live TV if you live in the United States and I think the UK. Now earlier we talked about how Amazon spams you with ads, but there's a way to control this top banner ad to be a little less annoying. So head over to your settings section again and scroll down until you find preferences one more time. From here, we're going to go to featured content. Now this is going to change video and audio auto playing while you're on your home screen. This way you never have to worry about that annoying playthrough ad of that terrible Chris Hemsworth movie that you don't want to watch. So I suggest at least turning off audio so you don't get blasted with random sounds of audio when your screen is idle. But if you also find the video annoying, you can turn that off and that will just leave still images on your home screen. So the next one is for you Americans. And what if I told you you're not nearly getting the most out of your Netflix subscription? Now Netflix geo-locks content to your country. That means you're missing a ton of content from the UK, Australia, and Canada. That's right, even us Canadians have something over you. Now all we have to do is head over to the App Store and type in ExpressVPN. You'll find the link right here. Once it's installed, you can sign up for an account. I would suggest doing that on your phone. I have a link down below in the description that's actually going to give you 30 days free. So you can cancel within 30 days and get all of your money back. So being in Canada, we're gonna change the location to the United Kingdom and we're gonna connect it. So now next time we open Netflix, we're gonna have tons of that UK gold content that you've been missing on your American Netflix. Now the way we can verify this is, Rick, first of all, Rick and Morty is not in the Canadian uh, Netflix, but you can see right here, top 10 shows in the UK. Now I suggest experimenting with all sorts of countries because there are endless countries in Express, v well, not endless obviously, but there's a lot of countries in Express VPN that we can utilize in order to get the most out of the content. Now coming in at number eight, we're actually not leaving this screen because this includes tons of free sections that Amazon has started to add. Now, if we go over to this app plus button right here, you're gonna to see tons of sections here called free, 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 free. Now this has all been added by Amazon. And depending on what country you're in, this will change a ton. In the US, there's new sections, there's tons of other ones. And these are free Fire TV channels that basically Amazon is paying for. They even have Amazon Live, which I do sometimes, but anyways. Amazon pays for these, they license these, and that means you can watch them completely for free. So we can click on free food and cooking. And that will bring us to a variety of free TV, both live content and some that's pre-recorded, just nice little videos that you can check out. And that's all included with your Amazon Fire TV. Now watch this cheeky little trick. If you have a show or movie already playing on your phone, or if you're on YouTube, Twitch, whatever other app platform, there's usually this nice little TV cast option. So with your Fire TV, you can actually click on that and you can see there, it says my name and Fire TV. We can press that right there. And what that's going to do is pull up your platform. So that will pull up Netflix, that will pull up Prime Video. Now that will quickly allow you to cast TV shows and movies directly on your Fire TV in minutes. Now secret number 10 is utilizing the Alexa that's built into your Fire TV. Now most of the devices have it built in automatically so you can utilize it at any point, but most of you aren't. There's actually a number of catchphrases that you can use such as, hey Alexa, check the weather for me. In Beverly Hills, it's 19 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Uh, okay, well, this is clearly not Beverly Hills. That's a lot of rain. But with that being said, you can do everything from ask it to take you to a certain show or movie inside an app, open a certain app, or even just basic questions. Or you can do the only thing that's right and say, hey Alexa, go to UGT on YouTube. Okay, well, I'm not that popular yet, I guess. But that's everything for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned a little bit about your Fire TV. If there's big tips and tricks that I missed, make sure you mention them down below to help the community out. I'll see you guys in the next one.